In this video, we're going to look at how to use Vogue Codex as a VST plugin within various host applications. Again, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using the Vogue Codex internal synth generator. However, I will be using audio from the host application as the modulator. In this example, I am using Sony's Acid. I have a project loaded that has a few drum and bass loops as well as a spoken voice in Italian, in which I'm going to apply the synthetic voice effect. To add the effect, I'll insert Vocodex into the voice channel. I want this channel's audio to be the source of the modulator. So from the modulator input menu, I will select zero. And again, as I'm going to be using the internal synth generator, I'll set the carrier's input to no input. And just as in the last video, we can then audition the carrier and modulator. Now, while we are here, I should point out that what Vocodex is outputting at this time is only the combination of the modulation and carrier. If you want to blend some of the original modulation source to the mix, you can by increasing the modulation volume to bring it into the mix. Then use the mixer knob to control the mix between the original audio and the affected audio. The same goes for the carrier. You can bring it into the mix then use the mixer knob to control the mix of the effect. So, in this video, we looked at using Vocodex within a VST Hope application with basic routing and setup. In the next video, we'll be moving back into the FL Studio environment to dive into some more of the advanced routing of the modulation and carrier sources.